Join me today as I show you my go-to bread recipe. I've been working on this recipe for a couple of months now and I've gotten it where we really love it. Um, I make at least a loaf if not two a week for my son and I to enjoy in sandwiches, as French toast, as toast. It's just an all-around good bread and really easy to vary. Be sure and check out the blog post for the ingredient amounts and for some of my suggestions for how to vary this really easy recipe. Let's go to the kitchen and make some bread. started out by spraying the inside of my pan for my bread machine with some no-stick spray. That's optional. I just like the added assurance that it won't stick. And now we need to add our ingredients in. Check your instruction manual for the order your machine recommends. This is the order I put them in. I have a cup of milk that I've heated up to nice and warm in the microwave. I have one egg. You don't need to beat it up. The machine will beat it up for you and I have two tablespoons of vegetable oil. That's our liquid ingredients. Now, three and a quarter cups of all-purpose flour. I love this recipe because I don't need bread machine flour. I can use regular flour. I have one and a half teaspoons of salt. I usually use kosher salt because that's what I have. I have a quarter cup of just plain old granulated sugar and one tablespoon of dry yeast. And that's all the ingredients. Let me go get the bread machine set up and then we'll get this started. All right, the pan is now in the machine and it's pushed down so it's gripped. I'm going to select, and the selector panel down, dough, put the lid down and push start. And we'll check it in about 10 minutes and then you're free for the next hour and a half while the bread machine does all the work. All right, now this is what we're looking for. We want to make sure at 10 minutes that our loaf of bread is formed, that it looks like this. We don't want it too dry, meaning flour around the bottom. If there was flour left at the bottom and not mixing in, I'd put some more liquid in it. Some more, just some warm water would be fine. On the other hand, if it was so wet that it wasn't forming a ball, then I would add a little more flour. This is the time to make those adjustments. You'll have a much better loaf of bread. Now, according to the timer on my bread machine, it's going to work for about an hour and 20 minutes yet. And when the beeper goes off, we'll come back and I'll show you how to put this into a bread pan. Alright, the bread machine has finished its cycle and this is just so easy. I just dumped this out to kind of make just a, a smooth log, basically, out of my, my bread. You don't have to knead this, you don't have to let it rest any of that stuff. Let's get it into a, a loaf shape. I've got a loaf, a metal loaf pan here. It's got a nice coat of oil in the bottom. I'm going to actually roll my bread over, coat the top. Alright, so I've got it all coated with oil, kind of formed into a nice smooth loaf. And I'll let it rise in a warm place covered with some plastic for approximately an hour. Then we'll stick it into a hot oven. I bake mine at 350. The convection on a convection bake or 375 in a regular oven and it will bake for about 30 to 35 minutes and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Alright and here's my completed baked loaf of bread. It turned out beautiful. Now there's a couple of important steps to do while it's still just fresh hot out of the oven. First off, I am going to brush it with some melted butter. Not only does this add flavor, it helps to make the crust nice and soft and just wonderfully textured. Now, I have a kitchen towel. This is a nice clean kitchen towel, but it's, it's kind of an old one. It's, it's got some old stains on it. And it's nice. I got it nice and wet, and then I wrung it out, and I wrapped my bread with it. This was my mom and my grandma's trick. And I let the bread cool in this towel. This will help the crust soften up so it will be a lot more just wonderfully textured bread. 
So when this gets cool, I'll cut it, I'll take some pictures, and I'm glad you joined me today for making bread. Come back again, and we'll see what else we can make.